During this Advent season, we remind ourselves what it means that God was born as a human being in history. And the amazing thing about Christian faith is that it's not sort of abstract ideas floating around in a spiritual realm. This is God taking flesh in a substantial way in history, in reality, and that means a real place. And so today I've been thinking about what it means that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. The prophet Micah, hundreds of years before the birth of Jesus, talked about the fact that the Messiah would be born in this place called Bethlehem. So he, he said this, he said, um, Bethlehem, Epaphra, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be a ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. And this is significant because Jesus is a king born in the Davidic line, so it's important that he's born somewhere associated with David and this city of Bethlehem, this place Bethlehem, is very substantially important for King David. And Micah is writing at a time of great upheaval, of social upheaval, of unrest, and he's speaking of longing of God coming, God coming and being revealed in this town of David that the Messiah will be raised up from that place. And he's evoking hope, hope that someone in the beloved line of King David, someone epitomizing what David meant for the people of Israel, would come and, and rescue God's people and uh, bring God's grace and peace on the earth. Now, also Bethlehem is significant because it means the house of bread. It, it, it speaks, I guess, of provision, of, of bread, of food, of God's sustenance um, during a time of, of spiritual and literal starvation. So God is going to come and he's going to provide bread for the world, having been born in Bethlehem. The deliverer, that's Jesus, who's going to deliver us from hunger, from spiritual hunger, from spiritual starvation, is going to be born in Bethlehem. So it's clear that this is a messianic prophecy, that Jesus will be born in Bethlehem. And so when Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem, that is fulfilled. Don't skirt over that that the specific location of a really tiny place of Jesus' birth is mentioned. And the uh, Micah prophecy also speaks of Jesus' origins being from ancient times. That's a reference to God being the ancient of days. It speaks of, of this ruler being a shepherd over the people, of being able to, to lead people in the midst of loneliness and desperation and devastation with clarity and purpose. Um, into, into a God-given future. So the Messiah is born in Bethlehem. Micah prophesies it hundreds of years before and then Jesus' birth takes place in that specific location. God has come, that's not just general, that's particular. God has come in history, in reality, in fulfilment of prophecy. As you build up to Christmas in this Advent season, why don't you wonder at that? that truth at that reality that God wanted us to know that we could be sure that Jesus is God with us.